What's up, guys? I just found out. Wake up! To the Diablo live stream. So here now is my necromancer. And this is hardcore. Trying to go the summon necro route. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'm going to share this stream on Discord. Follow me on Discord if you haven't yet. Linked in the description of this video. And blessings to you guys. Blessings to my channel members and patrons. Streaming D2 now. Okay. So, here we is. Oh, Matthew, blessings to you, man. Thank you for your channel support. Leroy, Sunset. Skelly Master never dies, right? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, I intend to get through hell mode. Zero deaths. Starting now. So, the Stony Field. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me summon my golem right on these guys. Raka, Raka, Raka an issue? Oh my god, this is actually uh, going quite well. I might have actually had it on players 3 last time. By mistake. Got my ass kicked. Alright, let's get guitar. Um, I could go in there and do a Tristron, but I think I'm just going to continue onward. Underground passage. And I think four skeletons? Oh, I can have four out now. Alright. Oh my god. This is destructive. Uh, this is much better than what I remember. I think I might have had it on players three last time on accident. Look at him. How many hits? One. One hit on a, uh, a non-amped carver. Alright, let's get to the... Oh! What the hell? Okay, so I did travel to the, uh, the dark wood. Right, I hate to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, maybe Corpse Explosion. I don't know, it's a tough decision. I think I should use Corpse Explosion. Over amp damage. I don't, I don't want to use both. I don't want to strain myself with that bullshit. Okay, so... 2.6 yards. That is so shitty. Should I do it anyway? I mean, it's tempting to put another point into skeletons, because they're they're actually doing very well. Let's see how they do in the Darkwood first. Uh, before I make any executive decisions here. Blessings to you guys for coming by. Like this damn video if you will. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the page of the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. Alright, here's a hombre. Ooh, spell the unholy. Okay. Nice. So far, zero deaths. In terms of my army. May you have many wives, says uh, Sky Soldier. Blessings to you, man. Thank you. Just found the aspect that let me lets me summon extra warriors. How many extra? Because I actually found a pair of boots on a D4 that allowed me to summon two more mages. Like, how many more warriors do you get? Or does it depend on what you uh, imprinted on?
Oh my god, the hideous! This is amazing! Is it even doing anything? Maybe I don't even need to use half damage. Jeez, this is this is awesome. Look it up. Um. Uh, do I want to waste a point right here? I mean, otherwise, I could keep working my way up with my skeleton army. It doesn't even save the new more damage at another level. It's bullshit. Oh my god, on my amulet it gives me three more warriors. And yes, it does. On a two-hander it'll give me four. You gotta be kidding me. Seven warriors or three mages. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to find that thing. I need to get that thing. You can't get it out of a dungeon, can you? Uh, is that uh, just a legendary that dropped and you extracted it? Is that is that where you got that from? Okay, so the the shrine shows me I only need two more to skeleton to uh, gain another. So I think uh, that's what I'll do. These skeletons are godly. Junk, junk, but they will sell. I'll take that. Eight fire res. Alright, so here's uh, Tree Head. Tree Head Jerk Fist right here. Couple hits. Zeus, blessings to you. Fred, good to see you, man. Greetings to the Megatoad. Literally disrupt a shaga. Oh, really? Where'd you find it? And Matthew says, yeah, it was a random legendary amulet drop for me in a dungeon. So you can still imprint it on a two-hander. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's the tough part, is uh, is waiting for something good to use it on. Because I don't like to out-level the gear. Uh, I don't like to use it too early and out-level it. So I just, I just always save it. Which sucks, because I don't ever use it. I need to find a healthy medium. Yeah, corpse explosion would have been useless, right? Or uh, useful right here. Greetings and hallucinations, my toad. <laughs> Blessings to you, Scott. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to go to town, identify some of these goodies, have a couple rares here. Uh, I don't know what the new ladder is. Pirate by night. Blessings to you, man. Yeah, I'm not sure what the new uh, ladder is for this. Alright, selling those. Nice. Word of life, lightning res 5. Poison res 5. Attacker takes damage of 1. See if there's any wands here of use. Nope. Gotta go soon, but leaving stream running for the support. Oh, blessings to you, man. Emperor Draymond, thank you.
Yep! Um... Alright, I'll continue on. Don't bother to talk to you? mean buying a wand? Are there good wands there? I mean, basically, what I need is a summoner wand. Which... You can get a good one from a car, can't you? Can't you get, like, a three to race skeleton from a car? And it'll be cheap. Rognan will have a white base. Yeah, but I'm just trying to go summoner here. Um, I don't think I'm going to respect. Yeah, I'm just taking a spiritual journey right now. I'm looking to go summoner. Even though it's going to be quite difficult. So a white base uh, with bone spear, right? Yeah, that would be quite useful. If I were a... Uh, uh, a bone spear, teeth, and necromancer. Oh shit. Oh shit. And this is hardcore. I need to remember that. Uh, Golem is surviving. Alright, so. Still four skeletons. Okay, so I'm going to put a point in a corpse explosion. I guess I'll have it on F1. You're not hardcore enough to play hardcore. I mean, neither am I. I don't play hardcore very often. I'm not sure if I've ever even beat this game on hardcore in hell mode. Did I? I got a Javazon to like 73 and then I quit because I was afraid of dying. Is that the furthest I've gotten? But I might have killed uh, Hell Bell with her, I can't remember. Four points into Golo Master. Are you for real? Um, is that helpful when you're going through normal and, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, iron maidening the bosses? Because then you can keep them alive and uh, get the reflect. Is that is that why it's important to put four points into them? Into Mastery? Although, then there's resist as well, which is important. Oh, nice! Should I put that on the hell? 9% better chance of getting magic times. Although there's not many uh, useful magic or uh, uniques that I could find at this level. 
for this guy. Really just need a good wand and offhand. It becomes a tank, really, with four points. Uh, yeah, maybe I should do that. I always make the dumbest builds in this game. I can't get past Act 1 Hell. Are you talking about in hardcore or just in general? <clears throat> I play alone and I picked any skills without thinking about it. I even used the respec, thinking I would get more. I got to Act 2, Canyon of the Magi. Maybe I need to make a new character. Yes, perhaps you do. Resist is a one point wonder, okay. Yeah, I'll put one point into that. Act three stinks his job's on. Yeah, 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 it does. There's a lot of lightning immunes, right? Uh, you just get swarmed by lightning immunes. And then the trap! Are the trap lightning immune? I can't quite remember. If they're uh, generally light immune in hell. Alright, so I'm having some mana issues here. Maybe a MPK ring would be helpful if I can kill a few things with Corpse Explosion. Oh shit. Alright, that was good. All right. Yeah, they're fire immune in Helldrive, are they? Okay. <laughs> I can't recall if they're light immune as well or what. Getting out of here. Ah, Abandoning that battle. Torture of caged starvation. Nice. Let's see you with the damage. Quite nice. Ooh. What do we have here? A little shekel. Requirements are 15. Uh, not much of a use for me. Kung Fu, blessings to you. Sloth, good to see you here, man. Thank you for coming by. Oh, uh, yeah, just... Ooh, look at this. Experience try. Okay, so he's level uh, 11 right now. Come on! Get it! 
Get it! Holy shit. Alright. Oh! Mage! Of course, mages really suck. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's even worth putting a point into it, is it? Damn! Look at this, it doesn't even show their damage. It's complete ass. Uh, no, I never reached 99. Uh, the furthest I've gotten was like 90... Uh... 93, I think, on a boson. It was a damn good time. Alright, I'm just gonna keep pumping up Skeleton Warrior. All out of mana. Maybe this champion will have some. There's one. Another champion. We'll go take him on. Uh, the skeleton should be slightly stronger. What the hell is this? It's kicking their ass. Plague Flame. Cold Enchanted Demon. Alright. Rare Small Shield. Oh. There we are. Faster block rate. Increased chance of blocking. So I have a... Um... Wait, what? Where's my block chance at? The hell? Wasn't it under defense? Okay, chance to block 8%, and now with this on 18%. Whoops, should have fetched uh, some of those corpses for summons. Oh shit. More champions. Yep, it's gonna be a problem now. Alright, I'm gonna go to town, get some mana. Well, here's here's some mana. Not enough mana. I hate the damn like button. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, good to see you here, man. Thank you for your support, Jason. A lot of champions down here. Nice. Should sell.
It's locked. Yep. Oh. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Damage reduced by one, though. I like that. Uh, I suppose I'll take the replenish life plus three. Come on! Where is it at? Holy shit! Ah! Thank you guys for coming by. Like the video if you will. Subscribe to the page. Have you been playing Diablo 4? Let me know in the chat. What's uh, what's your opinion of Diablo 4 thus far? Are you still playing it? Just watched your Doombringer video from last year where you found a Marrow st Oh, nice! During testing. Where did I find it at? Found a Marrow's for real? That might have been the first time I found it. You're playing Diablo 1? Yeah, I'm thinking about playing some Diablo 1. Uh, live streaming it. Ah, oh, Bob, blessings to you, Ben. Good to see you here. Jeez. Class specific rares. Uh, neither of which are Necromancer. Starting my 1,000 pit runs with Mosaic Sin. I still need to try that. I haven't tried the Mosaic Sin yet. Playing while I'm watching you. I've been uh, taking it slow so I don't get burnt out. Also letting the patches get to me. It's a new game. You're playing Diablo 4 right now, huh? What level uh, in character are you, Matthew? Tough to do a spiritual journey in Diablo 4. Is it? Do you think so? Most of the people I've played with took a break or quit, really? Holy shit. I wonder what game they moved on to. Or are they just, uh, are they just done for a minute? Chaos Wolf the Flayer. Fire and Chain. Watch out for that pop. Not enough money. 
mana. Oh, here's another one. Nice. I can't carry anymore. Come on. You can do it. Chase him down. I can't carry anymore. Oh yeah. Moving on through. Now, how difficult is Endarial gonna be, I wonder? Shit, I'm not sure if I'm ready. Level 12. Summon Necromancer. Am I going to get the shit kicked out of me is kind of what I'm wondering here. Hopefully my hombres uh, can withstand. I, I can't recall what it was like last time I tried Summon Necro against Endarial uh, from the beginning. A f at least I have a Fire Mer, And she's level 9. Three to six fire arrow. Pretty shitty. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, they play for a few weeks with a new patch and then quit, right? Maybe that's generally how it goes. I quit D4 at level 50? Sork or something? Are you still playing uh, Diablo 4, Jason? 34 summon necro. Hardcore. Nice. I've only played hardcore so far, so it's a challenge. I haven't beaten the game yet. So it's a great journey. Nice. You haven't beat the campaign. Yeah, the campaign was actually uh Well, I thought it I thought it it, it, it got alright. Fighting uh Lilith at the end there. With new economy? What do you mean? What's the deal with new economy? Doesn't she melt? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm concerned about. Is she's going to melt uh, the skeleton army? Immortal King set. Yeah. Oh, I, I definitely will make more videos on those in the future. Spam gold. Oh, I don't have Iron Maiden. Oh shit. Jason's running a 55 Necro. You hated your level 70 Sork. Wow. Yeah, the Necromancer is so much better, isn't it? From D2R to 2009 Diablo 2. Um, can I learn? Okay, so I can learn an Iron Maiden, and I might actually level in time. I guess I should try that. I mean, how susceptible is Indarial to Iron Maiden? I know that Duriel is susceptible to it. Uh, I guess she has an okay physical attack, but, I mean, a lot of her damage is from her poison. Which, uh, Iron Maiden isn't going to be the best, uh, response to. But, yeah, it might be my only option. I can't carry anymore. When is PD2 Season 8? Do you know when that starts? Gonna wait for that Max, your Barbarian, using the Immortal King set? Yep! Alright, let's find the- oh, god! Alright, so I suppose Iron Maiden it is, although I could put another point of skeleton! Oh, five of them! But yeah, I, I, I think this, this might be the way to go. I, I just need to, uh... All right, I'm gonna put a point in Iron Maiden. In fact, does that work against regular monsters as well? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure which is gonna work better. Is it Amp in general or is it Iron Maiden? Uh, just running through normal mode against uh, just regular monsters. 
I know uh, Iron Maiden is great against bosses. Let's try it on this guy. Iron Maiden now. That's acceptable. I am overburdened. The corpse explosion. All right, here's Iron Maiden again. That's a better range. I just don't know which is going to be better against these regular monsters. Ooh, zombie head. Two to weaken. Damn. I don't think I have use for that here. I'm just going to wear it on Switch anyway. Two to weaken, you son of a bitch. All right, more thick piece. Oh my god! I was reading the chat! Dummins! Uh, I, I saw that coming, actually. Alright. <sighs> um, yeah, those guys are just... It's locked. They're just too thick. Well, maybe I should finish them off. Let's finish them off. What the hell's my mercenary? She's stuck! <sighs> love all the recent FOA Gazeo build videos. Would love to see you try one with a pride mercenary. Uh, really? A pride mercenary? Just because it helped the zeal that I use occasionally. I've got a 73 Rogue. That's really fun, but boring playing online with no one to talk to. Do you mean, like, is, like, the social pretty bad or what? In Diablo 4? Yeah, Iron Maiden back, yeah, early on, it had, it was very effective. Uh, I don't think it's so much anymore, though, in these recent patches. Amp CE for normal monsters, Iron Maiden for bosses. That's kind of what I thought. Bone armor is a one-point winner. Oh, right. It, it does kind of seem like the first time we use a Necromancer. But, uh, no, it's not, in fact. I need a key. Believe it or not, I do miss the... PD2 Necromancer, though, where the summons were actually worth a damn. Uh, meaning they did a good amount of damage, they had some splash damage to them as well. Uh, mages were actually good. But that's why it's a spiritual journey in uh, D2R, just trying to run it as a summon Necro. Bit of a challenge, especially in these narrow corridors. I suppose I do need to go up here and take a look. Look at this! 
Four men after each kill axe. Uh, which actually wouldn't be that bad with corpse explosion. Death spade. But it'll be quite the sacrifice to make. I mean, I, I really, I'm gonna hang on to that just in case. If, uh... Yeah, if I level up Corp Explosion a little bit, uh, that would be quite helpful. To have all that mana for kill. Yeah, the social does seem really bad in Diablo 4, doesn't it? I wonder why that is. I can't carry anymore. I could sell this. Maybe I should have gone Teeth Necromancer. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that. But it probably is the better way to go for a normal playthrough, I would guess. That is true. Without the trade... Uh, it definitely loses a lot of social appeal, doesn't it? It seems like they're not going to implement uh, trade, I would guess. The game's kind of built around them not having that. But I mean, if they just enable it, I wonder how... Maybe that would be fine. Maybe people would actually play it more. If they were able to trade shit. Uh, now that you mention it. Edward, blessings to you, man. Thank you for your channel support. Uh, yeah. Poison Nova is awesome. Uh, I would love to go Poison Nova. Uh, obviously, right now, this guy is only level 13, so I, I don't know what that's like. Can you level up as a Poison Nova Necromancer, basically just uh, pump it into the synergies or something? Does that work? Good evening. Because with Poison Nova, <laughs> you'd have to go Poison Dagger, and does it... Isn't this skill complete ass? What would that be like? I mean, it doesn't even make a cloud, does it? It just, you gotta stab every single damn enemy. And then this skill sucks. I think. <clears throat> so. Would you really level up as one of those? I'd almost want to try it. Uh, as a spiritual journey. Yeah, I wonder what that would be like. Alright, but nonetheless, I need to get an army back before I go back in there. Oh yeah, that is true. It would be ass and hardcore. Whoops. Uh, because you are pretty vulnerable, especially early on, as a uh, poison necro. That's not bad. One to mastery, one to teeth, one to amp damage. Yeah, do it as a spiritual journey. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Poison dagger is painful, for real. I mean, yeah, you have to hit every single enemy. To be social, you need a community atmosphere. Um, yeah, I wonder, how would they make it a community atmosphere in Diablo 4? What do you think are the methods uh, in which it would take to accomplish that? All 
All right, here it is. Here she comes. Yeah. Loaded question, you think? Well, I mean, you have it. Like, how the hell would they do that? I mean, I guess, like, for one, if we could make our own games. Like, in this, you make your own game, then you see them join, right? And then you then you open up that window. Uh, the party window or whatever. Is that even a thing anymore? Where the hell's the party window at? Okay. Uh, but yeah, you still see them enter the game. And then you go and kill the monsters and they stay dead, so, like, uh, there's some communication at work there. You ask them, did you kill this, did you kill that? Uh, I guess that, yeah, the, the fact that they try to, that's interesting, actually, that they try to make it an MMO, but it actually made it less social than this. That's weird. It's, like, you got people running all over the place, but, like, uh... It's like it's all soulless or something. It's fucked up. Alright, let's get these guys. Try to get these guys. Let's get this one now. Okay, I'll, I'll just do it. One point. Teeth. Yeah, I probably should have tried a uh, teeth build. How are they making more social? You guys have any idea? I remember I fantasized about a social hub in D2. We get it in D4 without the soul. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, let's get this guy again. Come, let's get this guy right here. Let's try to get this guy. There he goes. We got him. Let's, uh, let's get this guy now. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. A lot of damage. A lot of damage return. Oh my god, she's almost dead. But so am I. Yeah, yeah, go after the mercenary again. Oh my god, she's gonna die. This is crazy. I had no idea. I had no idea I was gonna be able to kill her. Not only the problem is now I'm out of mana. Come on. Let's get a couple more hits in. Oh my god, look at this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, that worked out very well. Back to the hell that spawned you, Andario. I can't carry it. Couple goodies. All right, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Good day. Make the world bosses as hard as Uber Lilith, so clans have to try hard on them. The Sunder GC's takeaway rainbow facet builds. Uh, no, because uh, when you break an immunity with a Sunder, they're still ninety-five percent immune. So you have to chop that away with uh, with facets and all that. So, I mean, I think facets are even more essential now. 
Because you can actually utilize various elements now, and uh, you can put them to more use now, because they can work against almost every monster now if you have a Sunder. We paid to test a game. I remember I fantasized about a social hub. Uh, did D3 have good social outlook? I mean, I don't think so. Make a wish list for future updates to D2R. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do by class. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Thank you. I learned about smoke in peace from D2 chat when I was 12. Oh, shit, that's funny. Yeah, we learned a lot of things in the Diablo chat, didn't we? When we were 12. Yeah, Diablo 1 does have more social atmosphere. I mean, I think it's because you enter the world, and the world is, um, like I said, you can throw shit on the ground and they see it, and uh, you can go and kill the butcher, and then you can make a portal for them, and it's just like all the enemies stay dead. Uh, so, like, you affect the world a lot for the other players, too, whereas in D4, you don't affect the world at all. They just go into the damn dungeon, and it's a different dungeon when they go into it compared to when you go into it. And nobody really cares about the overworld or whatever. Those enemies just constantly are respawning. Yeah, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of things that go into it. D1 chat taught me how to get all the cheats by pushing Alt F4 at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <coughs> The problem is they tried to take a game and make it single player oriented and jam some multiplayer content into it, then try and eliminate server choices that are normal for MMOs. Yeah, D3 was a very hard time to make friends is what uh, Hotomoto says. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't social like D1 or D2. If the exit, it's time to shop one. I don't think I have enough gold. I have Ice Orc with Magic, Sunder, and Cold Sork, Sunder. Alright. So yeah, I, okay, let's let let's see what uh, Ormus has. Wait, Drognan? And yeah, he's not by the entrance. But just out of curiosity... Two to Clay Golem. Uh, way too expensive, though. Oh! Two to raise skeleton. I mean, this one's not that bad. It is 20,000 gold. Uh, maybe I could afford it. But do I really want to do that? Do I really want to blow all my gold on that? I mean, it's better than mine. I should probably keep looking for, like, a, uh... A three to raise skeleton or something. I mean, that's not bad, though. It was two to raise skeleton. And uh, one to clay golem, right? But... Right, you're saying it needs to be bow on if I want to get two sockets. Yeah, and I learned that uh, the hard way, I think. Not too long back. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming by. I need to go on a bike ride. So I'm going to get off my ass for a little bit. And uh, it was a good time. Uh, if you will like this video, subscribe to the page. I do have a video posting tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, so check that out.